Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're going to be focusing on upgrading the chess piece for Draconic Evolution. There's quite a few upgrades that I actually want to get into for this chess piece. Um, for one, we're obviously going to be changing most of most of these to Draconic tier, as well as we're going to be upgrading the Wyvern chess piece into a Draconic tier chess piece in order to be able to take the draconic tier you know items as well as i'm going to be fine like working towards getting myself the wyvern flight module which as you can see here requires the elytra as well as where is it i believe the undying module which requires us to have totems of undying and to get the totems of undying we need a bucket of life and to get the bucket of life well you need to have the blood altar so there's a few things in the in blood magic that we're actually going to have to get crafted so let's start off with crafting the blood altar actually there we go um let's see if it has any uses okay so we can put stuff in oh how do we okay so we can get a bucket oh okay so our empty bucket that's how we get the blood um the bucket of life if i'm not mistaken though let me get this uh, let's just put this down inside here for now but we need it so let's see if we have a knife there's a flint knife iron knife netherite knife sacrificial knife that's kind of what we need so let's make this So if I go and stand on top of this, we get, oh, let me take that. So I'm basically right click, um, yeah, right clicking on top of the blood altar and we're getting blood in there. Is it going? Yeah, it is going down. Okay. All right. Let's just get a bucket quickly. Do that. Um, how do I get this? Oh, okay, so it actually will fill up into the bucket if I just place it in. Okay, didn't know that. Now we know. But I think this is out, so we may need to replenish it. And just like that, we have a bucket of life. Now, while we recover, we can quickly come up here now. And I believe it's the wyvern tier. That's some oh, wrong thing I clicked on. Let's make the totem of undying, which shouldn't be too hard. I'll leave that bucket in there. And let's actually make this. Did I ever teach my system how to make this? What is this little icon? This is the half a heart. Ah, there we go. Let's clear that. Um, okay, and there we go. We have the undying module. Okay. Now, how do I make the other one? Okay, so we don't need to, you know, do more of it. But we are going to need a Draconic Tear Shield module, a potion of instant healing. Okay, so that's not, those things aren't that bad. But I think the first thing that we actually should really realistically do. Oh, it's actually charging up. But I do think the first thing that I actually should realistically do is upgrade my chest piece into a Draconic tier chest piece. So let's actually search back up Draconic. What do we need for the Draconic chest piece? We're going to need... Actually, I think I should be able to click I. Let's get the netherite. That's awakened. Um, we can put this here. Okay, so we have the netherite and awakened. We're going to need one wyvern core. So let's actually craft those things. Let's switch it back up. 
So we're going to need this and one Wyvern core. Make back some space in my hot bar. All right, let's go down. Let me get my chest piece. I'm just going to take all these items off for now. And we're going to take this off that slot here. And let's actually, you know, populate these crafters, well, these injectors. Put those things there. And where's our chest piece? And there we go. We can upgrade this to Draconic tier. Okay, so now that we have this, let me first put this back onto my chest piece in the curio slot, and let's actually go in and populate it now, shall we? Okay, so first things first, you're obviously going to need an energy module, which, well, that's what's that's in there now. Um, shield recovery, this can go here. This is the wyvern tier. Um, I'll show you how we actually got the draconic tier um, recovery. So if we search right here, where is the, this one? So it just requires you to have one one Wyvern tier shield recovery module. You're going to require two pieces of awakened draconium ingots, four pieces of metalite ingots, one draconium core, and one Wyvern core. And you can actually get yourself the draconic shield recovery, um, you know, module. So that wasn't too bad. Oh, this is the undying. Okay. And that's why I here. So we can act. Let's see if we can actually upgrade the shield module. We need to get this large one here. And in order to make the large one, we need to teach our, she teach our system how to make this draconic version, which actually isn't that bad. Okay. So let's go back up top. Let's hop on right here. So to make this, we need this. So we're going to do one for you. Then we're going to teach our system how to make you. So now I can just come here. Put those things in there. I may organize that at some point in the future, but I'm kind of lazy right now. So let's see if we can craft this. Are we missing anything? Okay, I think we have pretty much everything. Yeah. Let's take a look and see. Okay, as you can see, we already have quite a lot of Draconium ingots. So that's not a main concern. Let me see what's going on. Oh, accidentally entered out, exited out. Okay, yeah, our essence, you know, doing nice things. It's actually being processed, which is always good to see. Oh, that's working. Let me just make sure that you're, you know. Oh, let me to click out. Okay, yeah, you're working. Um, let me just put this inside this chest because I don't need to have that on me. So yeah, these things are actually fully functioning. All right, so that should. I've given this system enough time. Oh, there we go. We got the shield module. Let's see. Let's try to put this. Oh, click on that. Let's see. That should boost our shield up quite a fair bit. Um, I keep forgetting what button it is. So can I upgrade you this why this particular shield module? Okay, so I can click on you and you give me back five and i can click on you okay so let me see the lower tier shield which i think is this one and can you give me back you can give me back five and then you can actually be utilized to produce these okay so i think that's exactly what we're gonna do so we're gonna come in we're gonna dismantle this get the five because this can only be crafted using these shields, and these shields can only be crafted utilizing the Wyventer shield modules. So, we're going to save us a little bit of steps. We're going to put that in there, and then we're going to click on this. Oh, not click on that, actually. We're just going to tell our system to order one. 
if I can type at sign properly, which would be where is it now? Can I just? I could have. Oh, there it is. So we can just teach our system. So it does have to craft this to craft that. It needs twenty nine. Need to craft five of those, but it doesn't need to craft these Yventia modules. So let's actually craft that. And there we go. So now we have two draconic tier shield modules, which I'm going to put next to each other. Quite good. Like so. Okay, so while that's actually, you know, building up, let's see what else we can look at. This is the shield control module. Do I didn't put anything for this, did I? Okay, so let's just look and see. Where is that? I didn't add this. Okay. Forgot to add this. Or maybe I did add it. It just didn't pop up. Well then. Okay, so we're going to need two draconic cores. Uh, we should have that ML. Okay. So let's actually... Oh, actually, I'm going to show you what I ended up doing. So, for certain things like the Draconico, we're still going to need these injectors. So, what I ended up doing was taking a crafter, connecting it into our refined storage system, and giving it this thing that basically the blueprint to make these Draconic cores. And it's going to output everything that you need in order to make that in this chest. So, if I go into our refined storage and we go into Draconic, and say we want to make one of these. I know I'm going to need to make two, but this is just for show purposes. It's going to send everything that you need in this chest, like so. And then all we have to do now is put everything in, like that. And we're going to put that in. We're going to it ready to craft. What I can also do, Actually, no, I don't want to put an exporter just yet on this because if I'm afraid if I put an export on it, it will actually export or import one of the two. I think it's an importer, sorry, not an exporter. I'm afraid it would actually import the finished item. So I don't want to put that just yet. Um, I'll experiment with, you know, properly automating that in a, little, in a you know, off camera. But for now, all I have to really do is just keep telling the system, make this. It'll dump everything right here into this chest for me. Really nice and convenient. I don't need to put you there. And we're going to put you there, and that's going to craft. Last component that we need for a draconic. Um, for this. Where is it? The shield module. Which does reduce our shield cooldown from 20 seconds to 10 seconds. So it's not that big, but hey, it's still something, right? So I'm going to put you in there and we're going to tell what does it need. Okay, it needs a shield, that other shield module. So let me go grab it. Gonna, it's going to... No shield installed, okay. We're going to put that in there and we're going to tell it... Didn't I just put the wyvern tier module in there? I know I did. So now we can go back into our chest piece. And there we go. So yes, it's going to have to recharge, but that's fine. Um, I should probably go and configure this. So if we go into here, where is it? Uh, no, not that. Where is that? There is a way... Add where on earth's name did I get that? That's a team. There is a way to take off the chest wisp, but I just can't like not take off, but keep it from being visible.
Ah, there we go. That's what I was not doing correctly. Um, we're going to take the shield always visible to no. So now we can actually see ourselves again. Okay, so that gives us that. Um, let me just put away some of these things because I don't need them. Um, let me quickly sleep. And once I sleep, I think it might be worthwhile to start actually going into the end to get some of the... To start looking for Elytra, basically. Because that's realistically all that I'm missing. So, yeah. So, when I come back, we'll be in the end. Okay, so I have been exploring the end for quite some time. And I've finally come across an end city with a ship. So, let's actually go through and see if we can get ourselves a Elytra. There it is. We're going to kill this little guy. We're going to pop out this Elytra. For some weird reason, items just aren't staying in the backpack. Let me just check. Yeah. Not sure why items from the end aren't staying in my backpack, but whatever. I'm gonna have to make do with that. Um, I can get rid of some. Wait, what's the purpose of this? Oh, this can make you use to make gunpowder. Okay. Uh. Okay. So we've gotten ourselves an Elytra Atlas. Oh, let me just go. Put this back on. Let's grab this dragon head. There we go. So now we have the elytra. Now one thing that I would like to check. So the flight module needs one elytra. What about the draconic version? We okay. We just need to upgrade it, and well, we have the po to get a portion of slow falling. Okay, good. So this is the end city. I don't really feel... I can't rate this, but I probably would rate it off camera. Because it's, you know, it's rating an end city. I'm pretty sure everyone's kind of used to that. So let's see, where on the map haven't I been? Yeah, this is all exploration that I did. Trying to find this, you know, singular end city. And eventually, we finally got here. So I'm going to go and do some more exploring off camera and once I return, I'll probably return back in the overworld. And we are back in the overworld after a nice little trip in the end. And we have ourselves this elytra. So let's actually start putting this to use, shall we? So let's go into the J uh, into our crafter and let's actually start crafting this Wyvern tier flight module. Now for this, we're going to need this firework rocket. Now to craft these firework rockets, unfortunately, if you click on it in click on it in the JEI in any sort of way, it simply just won't produce it. So we're gonna have to actually manually craft this using you know the standard recipe, which is which requires one piece of paper and two pieces of gunpowder, and that'll give you three fire firework rocket. Let's click back on this. Oh, I need to shift control click so this will start creating those items. Let's see, there we go. And now if we put that in there, we get the Wyvern tier version. So let's put that in there. Now to get this other version, we need this potion of slow falling. And to make this potion of slow falling, we need the phantom membrane. Which I don't even know if I ever killed. Okay, no, so I don't. Okay, so you know what? Let me see if I have a mob imprisonment tool. Like so, we're going to put that in there. Um, let me just go into my chest piece. I'm going to put this in here. Probably somewhere there, I guess. How do I actually configure this, though? That's a good question. Let me see something. Elijah doesn't work. That's fine. I might do flight. Oh, 
Oh, okay, so this just gives you standard elytra. So you need, a, in order for you to actually get the effect of this, you need to actually have it on in your chest piece. It's only at the draconic tier that we get creative flight and elytra. Okay, good to know. So let's go back into the end, and I'm just literally going to go find myself a phantom and basically capture it and bring it back, and I'm going to keep killing that. So I'll be back then. Okay, so I went back into the end use the mob use the mob imprisonment tool captured myself a phantom and if you guys remember the mob lubrication setup now we have way over there in the basement of that building All right it's in there now and let's just take a look and see how much phantom membranes that we have okay so we have quite a bit of these phantom membranes accumulated so let me grab this Let's go down. And let's see, what do we actually need for this potion of sort of cloning? So we just need to do the awkward potion and then put in the membrane, okay? So let's go right here to our potion brewer. Let us remove these, all of these additional things. And let's put the phantom membrane in. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we only need to really do this once. So I'm actually going to take that out. And uh, we're going to put back these things in. I'm going to splash potion, shrink to. Okay, good. So that's me the wrong place that I'm trying to deposit that. Let's deposit these things like so. Let's click back here. So, now let me just open this back, remove this piece from here, drop the firework, let us click, put that, put this in there, because now i um, put this as well, I need two wyvern cores. Where are the wyvern cores? Let's make these two. And put that, that. That's going to give us the draconic tier flight module, which we can then reinstall into our chest piece, like so. Oh, it's a tree by tree. So let us see. Let's take off our jetpack. Like that, we have creative flight okay so all that remains now for us to actually do is to finish upgrading and fully populating all of these you know slots with different weapon upgrades for our draconic tier items and then once we've done that it's time to go into the end and find the chaos guardian which is basically going to be in the next episode so i'm going to go off camera put in some work and you know fill up these different tiers not much for the bow the sword has quite a lot the chest piece i may do some additional shield modules um and ne definitely a next undying module so this way we'll have two chances and yeah that's about all the upgrades once when i do finish i'll definitely come back and showcase the different upgrades before we go looking for the chaos guardian and that will be done in the next episode so thank you all for watching and take care. Bye-bye now.